Hello everyone, my name is Adar and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm trying to get a satellite into a geo or geostationary or one of the other orbits that I picked up a contract for. I've been testing this design, found out there was some problems with my game, fixed them, hopefully. And I'm just going to test this rocket. But my friend here is with me today also. Hello. Yeah, I'm noticing that little strut down there is going crazy. Like raping your ship. He's just happy to see him. <laughs> so let's try this. I have my satellite up here. To use SAS, I have Jeb and a little can lander can, which he'll come back to uh, Kerbin whenever I'm done. So let's turn SAS on, RCS on, and full throttle, and let's go. It's still wobbling. As long as it's not wobbling on this, it'll be fine. So I can go out to the map real quick. About to say that's getting pretty boring. <laughs> I need to get into either this green one or one that's actually the orbit of the moon. Baby steps. Go for the green. Yeah. You gonna activate your big <laughs> rocket? Uh, whenever it gets a little bit later in the the height and all. Just so I can uh, use more of the fuel out of it. Which I'm coming up on. I'll do it around 350 meters per second. That's about the time it crosses over the sound barrier. Well, it looks like it's having a hard time right now, so went ahead and activated it. Yeah, they didn't get to see all of our attempts up to this point. I've lost track. I've been trying many designs all day. Once we get rid of these boosters, I'm going to start tilting it over. And hopefully it doesn't lean all the way over. Yeah, I'd like to end this one on a success, not a failure. Wasn't one of the fails, one of those rockets actually like leaned over and smacked into the bottom of your rocket? That's happened many times. Oh, we're going down in speed again. Even the RCS doesn't help. Oh, well, it'll catch up to it in a minute. And now it's going back up. So let's try turning just a little bit. Feels like I've been recording forever, but it's only been a minute and 20 <laughs> seconds in game. We can see RCS. Did you ever fix the issue with those canisters going ape shit? I removed them. Okay. I removed all, all the RCS from the top stage, which can be harder to get it into a perfect orbit. But I don't want it to do what it did last time. That canister, there is something up with that uh, supply bay or service bay or whatever it's called. Yeah, when you opened it, it was like releasing a whole canister full of, like, bouncy balls. They were going everywhere. Funny to see, but it was a horrible explosion. Michael Bay would have been proud. I'm 
coming up on 800 meters per second. We're doing good. Feels like I'm going really, really slowly. Okay, I'm going to change over to map view, see where I'm at. I think I'm just going to keep burning for... Yeah, I'm just going to try to keep burning. Because what I need to do is get way out here, circularize it, change the inclination, then... Uh, What are you going to do with the science you gain out of it? There is no science. If I get it in orbit, I get uh, whatever the contract gives me. Maybe it'll mess up like last time and give you way more than what you're supposed to get. Yeah. Because what's the next upgrade you need to have accomplished for your new ship? I need to get over a hundred to get the next ones that I want, which means I have to upgrade the R and D, which is like I think four hundred, eight hundred thousand. Come on, are we out of fuel yet? <laughs> yeah, almost. Okay, let's get rid of some extra weight here. Oh, not that button. <laughs> Remember what happened last time you did that? You make something explode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the pieces actually fly away this time? Yeah. Um... I think you just have enough. Just be mindful of how much fuel you're spending. Okay, what I'm going to do is get near my Apple apps. Also, if you guys can put in the comments if we're saying it wrong, that'd be nice. It's not. It's Apple Apps. Go watch your Scott Manley video. Okay. He'll he'll tell you. Let's see. Fuel going down quickly. I can see my house from here. <laughs> yeah, Kerbal Space Center is over there. Oh, I forgot my wallet. We got to turn around and go back. Uh, nope, we're not. I would love to go into space and experience zero gravity. That'd be so fun. And go take a ride on the Vomit Comet. Yeah, that sounded fun up until the the name of the actual ship itself. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't uh, Jamie and uh, Fred, the other guy. <laughs> Adam. Yeah, Adam, there we go. Didn't they go up on it? Yeah. Oh, we're out of fuel. No! Okay. I need to detach and move him away. Yeah, be careful what happened last time. This is the one that uh, you accidentally blew up something on that other pod. Yeah. Okay, now this one. Boom! <laughs> 
That's the one you gotta get in that green orbit? Yeah, with limited fuel. And it likes to roll everywhere. So I'm gonna turn off the torque of this thing. Yeah, that helped out tremendously last time. And there's no way to add a small fuel canister on that thing to give it a little bit extra? No, I'm maxing my weight out. Oh, by getting rid of some of those solar panels, you really need that many? There are hardly any weight. I don't know why it wants to roll. Okay, let's just keep it there. I can come back to it and work on it. Let's get Jebediah back safely. So, I have stuff in there. Now we need to deorbit. And there's no kind of possible science you can pick up last second before we head back? No, I've already used up what I can. Like crew report. I can get 7.5. That's about it. I blocked off his door so he can't come outside. Right now I'm just using RCS to uh, deorbit. I'm just burning out all that I can. Which I have, wow. I went overkill on the RCS. Is that extra weight you can spare? Yeah. I, mean, I think you got enough of them on there. I don't think you're really going to need that many. I kind of hit them inside here, seal. <laughs> wow. <That's... laughs> I'm not even going to say what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just all those. Actually, yeah. Um, there's some in there too. I said, like, "What the heck else you got hidden in there, Peter?" I just, I just put them inside. Nah. Hopefully, he lands over land. One of these days you're going to land in the epic spot and you're not going to be recording. So what I can do is if the satellite doesn't have enough fuel, which it probably is not, I can just leave it out there until I get the grabber, send up a reef resupply thing, and then refuel it. Oh yeah, did you ever show off your trick with your plane and your parachutes? No. Could be a shallow descent into there. Take a time warp would be a bad idea. Not right now, no. But I'm just holding down. I'm holding down the uh, H key to just keep burning the RCS. Why wouldn't you just use the rocket? Because there's no fuel. Hmm. See, zero and zero. That's why I planned on having the RCS to do it. But it took me maybe 50 or less to do that. <clears throat> okay, I guess here is good enough. I'll say, at least you're going to hit land. So, uh, I don't want to chance it, so I'm going to manually decouple this thing.
And hopefully this thing doesn't burn up on re-entry. Okay, what I'm going to do is just turn off SAS and everything. Let it do its own little thing. Whichever way it faces. I'm going to turn it, RCS back on. Okay, okay, didn't you have that in facing the other way? What I can do is hold down this. I'm just going to keep the RCS going. Every little bit of help. I don't see anything heating up either. Oh, there went something. Oh. What is it? Does it looks like no. Looks like it, but it's not. Yay! Didn't burn up in the atmosphere. But now, did the parachute survive? Did you forget the parachutes last time, or was that on a different piece? That was on the satellite. Okay, time warp. And <laughs> it's gonna land upside down. As long as it's recoverable. There's like a little tiny little speck of water down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, parachute covering the the viewer. You're so mean, a Jeb. Get a tiny little window to look out. Now, what's kind of funny is the RCS would be right here, and you just can't see it. It's a shame none of the gauges in there work. That'd be uh, a challenge to uh, land it. Uh, with mean? only using the oh that one yeah that works the altimeter the nav ball your speed the atmosphere all them gauges right there that one and that one works actually uh Scott Manley did a video going to the moon and landing on the moon just looking out the uh, window only that's legit. <laughs> I, I don't know how he did it, but he went, like, to Duna, to Ike, which is the moon of Duna, back home to the moon, I think Minimus also, on, like, one tank, the orange tank of fuel. That's ridiculous. I think it was a uh, weekly challenge on Reddit, which the next one that comes up, I want to do it. This one for the the last one was multitasking. Launch two rockets at the same time and land them on the moon at the same time. No, thank you. And come back at the same time. I'd be proud of myself just landing on the dang moon. I can't wait till we start getting stuff like on the moon, like a rover with like a drill and everything. What I need to do is just take a satellite, send it out like to the sun. Get all the uh, science and then send it back. My curve will better, or curve better not be in there. I've yeah. already been to the sun, thanks to you. <laughs> that was on the other account, or the save. Okay, recover vessel. Yeah, that's all I could say. Please don't hit revert flight. That would suck. Too many times. Hey, 7.5. Just 30 something more, or a little less than 30 to go. Which, while we're waiting for that, uh, that satellite, all I have left is miniaturization, which is the small stuff I really don't need right now. Uh, lander, you know, landing legs, a bigger parachute, uh, landing gear, really don't need that. Advanced construction, more, uh, decouplers, and a one to three stack coupler really don't need that I say just save up the experience and just skip those and go to the one, next one you need then uh, propulsion but it's tiny propulsion I don't need that but I can't go to the next ones you have to upgrade uh, this that's right you needed like 400,000 451,000 
So I'd have to do a lot of contracts. But let's go see what the uh, satellite's doing. Let's see if I can fail with it and just keep it up in space. Okay. I need to get into that. Let's see, line up the uh, ascending node and descending node with this. Now I know where I need to be. Kinda. somewhere right there and I get these confused which ones I need to be aiming for I'm gonna have to turn on this to okay now was it this one <laughs> which I'm using time warp to stop myself it's cheating the deep space crack and may come but oh well I'm surprised they haven't fixed that yet, to be honest. What? The ability to stop your roll uh, with hitting time warp. Eh. Yeah. Look at this. I barely touch it and it just spins out of control. Okay, we are at 3%. Two point three. Yeah, you barely touch it. Come on. Okay, we're going to have to wait until we are... Yeah, we're close enough to just go. How much fuel? Okay, we got... We may have enough. But with this thing being stupid and not wanting to roll right... Actually, it's not even there that I need to be. Let's get on one of these. Let's see, 417 or 288. Let's go round back to the 288. Uh, it's on the dark side. Try toggling say, the torque off of that. Yeah, I was about to say, don't forget to turn that off or else it's going to go crazy again. Now, is it going to be enough? It went a little bit too far out, but you can always change and correct. Okay, let's go out here. Which, I need to have this up. Which, who is this by? It says, uh, Moving Parts Expert Group. Let's just see something. Position satellite in an equatorial orbit of Kerbin. Uh, did it say... That's 11 million. So this is not, that's not it. That's the one around the, the I'd moon say that orbit. sounds a little far for what we're going at right Here now. we go. Position a satellite in a geosynchronization, whatever, orbit of Kerbin. Okay, we launched a new unman. It's maintained stability for 10 seconds. 
But we gotta get that. Okay. Like, does it have to be exactly two two million nine hundred forty thousand nine hundred sixteen? That would be too spot on. I've really never did one of these in point uh, nine zero. like these are so boring <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that little thing pop I think you're trying to match the blue ring with the green ring. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, this will get it a little bit closer. I don't know why it wants to roll for some reason. It There has to be something off-center. Which for my next one, I'm just going to do a completely different rocket or uh, satellite design. Okay, we need to. One thing yeah, is fix that. I'll tell you, I need to change that axis right there. Got a quarter fuel left. That guy's completely unplayable like that. Almost. And... Right there. Uh, it's still 1.3. That's close to. Let's see what the note says. Inclination of 10.3, longitude. Da, da, da. Oh, it won't stay up there for long, will it? Argument of the undefined. Huh. Like, do I have to get it perfect? <laughs> so let's go over to here. ridiculously close. I'm surprised it hasn't popped up yet.
Okay, let's make sure we have three. If it says four, we know we did it. Wait, no, going the wrong way, but let's let that momentum go around. Without the the SAS thing or not the the reaction wheel, it just wants to not move. Okay, that there can't be more spot on. That we we did it. Reached the destination. Now we got to maintain stability for ten seconds. Come on. We did it. Yay! Success. <laughs> Yay. Well, now we have a satellite around Kerbin that does nothing. I did not pack anything on it to save weight. Okay, that may be what's causing it. Did you see that whenever it, it uh came out? It, like, popped up. Well, it looks like it's wiggling. Oh, it's or just you have too many batteries stuffed in there. Yeah, I just seen it move. Yeah. Like shifting. Yeah. So, um, yeah. We even got extra fuel to spare. Now the hard part, getting that other one. Well, the other one, I just got to get out to the moon. The moon's orbit and go. That's nothing. So, we can't do that. Let's see. Let's go back to the space center. Oh, you don't want to leave it out there? Yeah, it, it's staying out there. Oh, I thought you reverted flight. No. No, if I reverted, it wouldn't do. So let's just go over the contracts I did. Position a satellite in the orbit. We got $131,000. One science and 12 rep minus 3. Oh, the minus 3 is my uh, contract I have. Or I'll show you in a second. Okay, let's get, discard that. We test the poodle engine. We tested a parachute and science data from the moon. Made a really close flyby of the moon earlier. Like, really too close. <laughs> so, what I did is uh, in mission control, or not mission control, administration building. I have reputation gains give me science. That's that minus three on reputation. This is how you get more money and all that, and I really don't understand that too much. So, the next time, let's see. I guess I gotta go back here. So, the next time, I'll get a satellite into orbit. Still need to go land on the moon. Maybe we could do two in one. Have a satellite and a lander, and go over there and just ditch one. Could be possible. Let's see, what do we have here? Temperature, visual, rescue. I'm not doing any rescues. They're a little bit too hard. Ooh, test the engine. Like, really, wh wh why? Ferry for tourist. Uh, okay, this one wants to go to the moon. This one wants to go to Minimus. This is a suborbital on Kerbin and the moon and this is a sub orbit on the moon and a flyby of Minimus that's crazy but the rewards are crazy too 48,000 60,000 48,000 60,000 plus 8,000 8,000 10 10 8 8 10 and 10 that's like worth it but ugh. we have to do all that all in one go no okay if that's say just within the duration, like 12 years. Oh, this one would be nice. This one, like, wants to go to Minimus, Kerbin, and the Moon. But the payout is 90,000, 90,000, 48,000. Why don't you pick that one up? That one's feasible. With what I have right now, it would take a while. Mm. So. So I'll see what I can do. 
thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.